looks like we're gonna have some Christmas out in the ocean. <laughs> I'm psyched. <laughs> Sorry that I hate Christmas, but I like it here in the ocean. No Christmas music here. I've never really been the one who's worried. Always been the one who's keeping it cool. We're two days into our three-day passage. I say we because Gallopa and I have taken on another boat hitchhiker. He's not feeling so well at this time, but um, you'll get to meet him later in this episode. Just hang on. And this is the kind of video I like to create from time to time that is less talk and more music. So, we hope you'll enjoy the song. <laughs> you'll see it's kind of fitting. Because I was made to be free. Galapa does not need to talk much, nor do me and my crew, who's been sleeping a lot. So, enjoy the music, man. We'll talk later.
last, last leg of our journey. Just have to go down the South Vicente Canal. Pretty mellow today. Awesome journey, three days, six and a half knots average speed, about 460 miles, not bad, great conditions, almost there, but almost doesn't count until you're really there. Anyways, Jonathan was a good crew, calm, easy going, let's see if we have any questions for Jonathan. How was your ride? Yeah, so nice, so nice. Perfect wind, perfect weather, so cool, no cargo, nothing. Beautiful. Did you get seasick? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know why. <laughs> First day was okay, but this is the next day, yeah, I felt a bit seasick, but today it's okay. I was feeling good, cooking, it's been like, uh, spend all the day outside, just chilling. That was nice. But so, yesterday. So where do you go to next now, as a boat hitchhiker? Yeah, the plan is to go to Brazil. But first, maybe I will go to French Guiana to make some money and then continue to Brazil. But no plan. <laughs> That's a good idea. How, how do you guys, the boat hitchhikers, how do you live? How do you make money? How do you survive? For the others, I don't know. But for me, yeah, I can do everything. I mean, when I was in Senegal, I was farming. Then I was working in a kind of a motel, making food for tourists, making uh, coconut milk. Uh, yeah, I can do everything. Uh, I've been working on boats. Yeah, it depends. And I do like to, to experience different things. I think that everybody is able to do everything. So, is this, you can do everything. So you spent a year in Senegal, how was that? Yeah, it's so nice. It's a really good country, like 20 people, a bit hot. Rainy season is, yeah, it's a bit wet, but no, it's, it's, it's like my second country. I've been there maybe five times. I have different families over there. So yeah, I also speak the language. It's like another country for me. Maybe, yeah, I, I've been thinking to, to stay there and to live there. So why are you going to Brazil? I don't know, I don't know. Actually, it's an old idea. I've been thinking about that since 10 years. Maybe I will, when I will reach Brazil, I will know. I hope. Okay. <laughs> well, let's hope we can find you a boat or you'll find a boat to go there. arrived December 25th. Yep, we missed Christmas. Aww. But we were in time for New Year's celebrations in Mandelo and on Gallopan.
Hey, it was great to have you aboard on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, leave a like and subscribe. You'll help us navigate better. We promise you a good time every Wednesday, man. So welcome aboard. Yeah.